What's going on guys? My name is Bear Witness and today we're going to be talking about a thing that I think that would make Fortnite a lot more, not not necessarily a lot more enjoyable, like it's not an enjoyable thing to play right now. I mean, I made I made my video talking about Season 5 and I really do feel like there's a couple of problems, but uh, you know, I have faith that Fortnite will figure out a way to make it the best of both worlds. Um, but that's besides the point, we're not going to go into a rant on that. But I believe that adding a 4v4 competitive playlist can actually take the game to new heights. Now, this is all going around a theory that would uh, consist of not keeping itself in a box. Now, I don't believe a Battle Royale game, be it PUBG, Darwin's Project, Islands of the Nine, or Fortnite can last for a very long time, considering it's still the same thing. Now, in Season 5, they added a brand new location, actually multiple points of interest that are brand new to the, the, the scene. They're fun, they're new to experience, and they're kind of like a different take on the map. Now, the problem with this is that at the end of the day, it's still the same game. It's still the same thing, doing it over and over again. You land, you might last this long, you might not. Pretty much everybody's got like a lower, like, you know, average players and even below average players have a lower, like, win-loss ratio than most other games. You know, uh, most other games, like, take Call of Duty, for instance, you know, you have around a 0.5, if not, you know, a higher win-loss ratio at the end of the day. If you're an average player or, 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 or above, you have a higher win-loss ratio. Battlefield, you have a pretty respectable win-loss ratio, depending on how well you play with your squad. These are other shooter games that I'm comparing it to, but the fact of the matter is, is that you have a higher win rate. Now, I feel like... At the end of the day, there's going to be, there's a point in time when players get tired of playing the same thing and losing consistently. There's a point in time where people kind of fade off, but I mean, that's also coupled with the fun of playing with your friends. So you kind of you, there's there's a there's there's a thin line between oh man I'm tired of losing, but I'm playing with my friends, so I'm gonna keep playing. Anyways, that's besides the point. With a 4v4 competitive playlist, you're able to have a more you're you're able to fix a lot of the things that some of the other players are talking about like you don't have to have the shotgun nerfs because obviously um in that situation you would only have one shotgun so you wouldn't have to worry about it hitting for a tiny amount because we would go on a loadout system you wouldn't have random weapon pickups inside of your 4v4 competitive playlist you would have a loadout that you made you know um and the weapons would be on a more even spectrum there wouldn't be rarities that came across inside of it and if there was a rarity everybody would have access to that rarity so if somebody was using a scar they would all be on the same level it wouldn't be oh hey i'm gonna use this and then there would be a lot more weapons in that game mode itself based on the fact that they want to let players have their variety of you know their competitive playlist but this is where you can have your ranked play in and this is just a brighter a, I'm sorry a broader spectrum of like what you want like because that's the thing that kinda makes the new Call of Duty if somewhat appealing is the fact that it does have a battle royale game but it's not only a battle royale game I feel like Fortnite has a very big opportunity because of the player base they already have. It's not very it's not a very problematic or advantageous like idea. They should just try it out, you know, give it give the players an option and then there you go. Now I'm not saying the competitive scene for Fortnite is already very fun. It's already very uh, fun to watch. It's very intense. But uh, respawn game mode or a you know competitive battle game mode that's not just you know oh you know I have one life now you can have domination you can have search and destroy um, team deathmatch probably wouldn't be the best of an idea but those those games capture the flag and they can put their own Fortnite twist on it but basically guys that's that's the idea behind it is what I'm trying to tell you guys that's the idea behind the competitive playlist I definitely think that it would have a better take than some other games I would definitely feel like that PUBG tried it recently with a team deathmatch and it was very much enjoyed and I, the reviews I saw on that game mode which was uh, it was I think it was called war 
it, a lot of people enjoyed it because you know when you have a game that's primarily a battle royale to add a game mode that gives them all the excitement of other games they used to play without having to switch off of their new favorite game is something that they should definitely just take advantage of. I think that's something that would be a great move for Fortnite in itself. If you guys have anything to say about this or if you guys liked my views, if you guys didn't like my views, I want to know. So make sure you post it in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. And also, if you guys liked the video, make sure you guys hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.